All right. Now we know the Boston Celtics, out of all the teams, we know they're going to the finals. And we know the whole city of Boston and Boston Celtics fandom is at an all-time high. But let's, let's 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 break it down for real. Let's be honest. Y'all the cowboys of the basketball world. Oh, y'all living off past things, and god damn it, it's time. It's time to win this chip now. The way y'all talking is time. Hey, it's NBA Search of your boy Steve O Bobby. Hey, we finna get it to it after this. <laughs> To the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys. Thank y'all for tuning in for another episode on NBA Central. Before we get started, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when all the videos. Make sure you hit up the voicemail so we can talk about those. But let's get straight into it, Bobby. It's been a lot of chitter chatter. I don't know if you know, but it's been a lot of chitter chatter coming from the people from Boston and just Celtics all the way around. And um, I don't remember when I heard this, but somebody tried to call the Lakers the Cowboys of the. I think it was a Celtics fan trying to call them the Cowboys of the NBA. And I was like, y'all still living off two thousand what eight, and before that, your last championship was nineteen eighty six. <laughs> if, if if we really want to talk about it, what did y'all have to do get to get that one ring in the way? You mm. had to go get an MVP and put them against with Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Rondo, <laughs> all of them. Mm. So the whole point of this video is straight up, it's time. For the way y'all talking, it's time, and y'all have no reason not to win this chip. But before we get straight into that, more deep into that, what's your thoughts on all these Celtics fans talking crazy? I mean, they should be talking crazy. Look at my team, the banner. Y'all can tell. We at home. <laughs> and to be quite honest with you, they got a lot to be proud of right now. Um, it is a bit shakiness, at least from the outs, at least from a guy that's an outside fan. But they got a lot of things to be happy about. You know what I'm saying? Conference finals. Well, finals, two of the last three seasons. But we all know what yep. it really comes down to, y'all, putting it on wax. If we hang up and celebrate in-season tournament banners, no, it was cute for the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Do we go out and celebrate division titles like we once did? No, it's not an NBA title. Do we go out and celebrate the conference finals? Yeah, you do a little bit, but nothing matters than having that big old Larry O'Brien trophy. So that's what it really comes down to. I, I, hey, y'all had one in 86. Our last one was in 96. But Steve O, I do gotta, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do your thing, but I because I do wanna talk about the other side of things. Are you know? Oh, oh, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, I mean, I, I I don't have too much smoke for them. It's just the some of the Celtics fans just doing a little bit too much because, like like I said, of the, the title of this video. Y'all, I mean, somebody did give it a good point and said maybe it's the Bulls, and I was like, hey, kind of, <laughs> kind of. We ain't saying we going to the championship, y'all. But we I was just about to say, we, we ain't saying we going to no championship, though. But um, I think it, 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 it it's a lot of similarities to them and the Cowboys because they always, they for the, for the most part, they build up the team the right way. Um, their stars has been through the draft, and then they they pay them such, and they've gotten close over the past two to three, two to four years. But at the end of the day, just like the Dallas, they get so close, and then they wet the bed, and that's what ha we've been seeing in the twenty twenty two season and the twenty twenty four. I mean twenty twenty uh whatever year it was, not twenty four or twenty three, whatever it was. But they wet the bed. And that's a lot of similarities to what the Kentucky Dallas Cowboys to do. And right now, with the players on this team, you then gave Jalen Brown over three hundred million dollars in contract. Um, Tatum is on his way to getting uh, the, even more from that contract. So when you come down to it, people are trying to label Tatum the face of the league. Um, and to do that, you got to win this championship. Like out of everybody. That's going to be in this finals. I mean, of course, we know that games five happens tonight with the Mavs. 
and um the Timberwolves and anything could happen, but it looks like the Mavs gonna possibly end up being in the finals. If we looked at between you two, Luke only been to maybe one or two conference finals in his career. This is second one. This is second one. This is like your third, third or fourth. I don't. Yeah. I I didn't lost count how many times y'all yeah. been barely successful as an organization the last five years. But how successful is it if you're not coming away with that championship? And we all know what the organization has come from. Red, big red. He did whatever it took, and he didn't care about nothing else. But if he was coming away with that ring and that Larry, Fair and when it comes down to that, it's just time. This year is no reason. You got the experience. You got the vets. You got the coach, you got it. The deaf, you got it all. You you got it way lower than what the Mavs got right now. Yeah, and I think that's a, a great point, and that's why I was gonna say the fans are obnoxious right now, like the Dallas Cowboys. But when we look at the history, if we keeping it a buck and not being a hater, because I'm definitely a hater, because my team ain't in the finals. But if we if we keeping it a buck, that's what makes them different in a way than the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. And their fans because Dallas Cowboys can't win a playoff game. <laughs> <laughs> can't win one. These not guys one. the championship games and the finals. Have they not? Have they won? No. But I think that when you, when you talk about it and you continue to just look at it and evaluate it, these guys were in the conference finals with Isaiah Thomas, young as hell. Mm -hmm. And so they went through that heartache. Then they made it to the finals a few years ago. They went through that heartache. So now this is where we come on and we line up perfectly, Steve-O. You ain't got a choice but to win now. You ain't got a choice. You got everything you need. You got a, a, a point guard who you just paid and Drew Holiday, who's one of the best perimeter defenders in the league and a champion, so he got the experience. You got, wow. a, you got one of the ultimate utility pieces in Derek White. You got two all-star caliber guard uh wings and tatum and jalen brown and then you went out and got christoph porzingis and let's not act like al horford is a scrub coming off the bench right. he ain't you so mm -hmm. after i see the little bit of differences with the dallas but we 100 right on the money when we say and we tell the celtics fans pull up to the front because y'all gotta win this if you don't win we it's gonna be it's the day after you lose the championship. It's going to be, we told y'all Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum couldn't play with each other. We told y'all that, that, you know what I'm saying? And then they're going to start talking about Jalen Brown's money. And if Jason Tatum gets yep. paid over the offseason, they're going to talk about his money. Y'all got to win this so you can silence some of these people that's talking. Yeah, and it's a nice little storyline building that nobody's really talking about. Hey, if y'all let Luca and your former person that was on this team, Kyrie Irving, come up here and beat y'all. What do you think is going to be the result of the impact from a player standpoint between Jalen and Tatum if they take this loss between them two? Oh, boy, that's going to be hard because another thing that's going to – somebody going to bring it up, so I'm going to bring it up. What's going on with Kobe Disciples around the league? The Young Bucks. The Devin Booker's and the Jason Tatum's. What we doing? You can you can show the love to Kyrie. He been a champion. But what Facts. about the young pups that's supposed to be carrying on that legacy? You know what I'm saying? We can't put it all on them and act like, you know, they have to. But we're going to be like, mm -hmm. damn. Because yeah, they, they speak highly of Kobe, and we know Kobe gets the job done. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He took his L's, but he got the job done. But if you let Luka and Kyrie come up in here and win it, which they very, can, very well can win it, because Boston Celt the, the Celtics, they get themselves in some trouble with trying to be a crazy three-point shooting teams, and that allows things, you know, to creep in. But have you learned from your, your past lessons is the big question for Boston, for real. No, for real. And I just feel like that cannot happen, especially when we talk from a standpoint of marketing and everything around this organization. Like I said at the beginning, They've been desperately been pushing, and, and he's been proving it for the most part that Tatum is looking more and more like one of those players that could be the face of the league. But the dude that you possibly been going for the goal begins in Luka is been making a statement since he came in the league as well that he could be one of those two. So right. to me, if you allow him to 
come in and beat you and win it in Lucas fashion, especially the way he been he been balling and especially in the clutch against this series against the Timberwolves, it's gonna be a big sway in attention. Talks about media all the way to Luca if he comes around and wins this championship, especially when you look at who he went through to do it. Facts. He went through a tough task to go through, and that was also be my next question for you, because like I mean to interrupt, but my next question is when you when you when the going was tough, you was down 0 3 to Miami, I believe, last year, and you lost to a yep. team many believe you shouldn't have lost to. Many people believe that you had a chance against the Golden State Warriors. And your road to the finals wasn't that tough in a lot of people's minds. So you 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 think that's going to affect them in the finals, bro? It shouldn't. But it but if they've been if it I mean, if this was them going to the finals for the first time maybe, but the fact that you've been here, you've been through countless of playoffs, you've been in constant balance with different type of squads. Nothing outside of basketball should phase you, but it's right. there. It's yeah. there. They are. I don't know if you've seen it, but they, uh, one of these sports, I don't want to say the NBA dropped the video, but I think it was dropped the video of like why the Celtics are the fighters. And this is just a montage of every team in the East that got hurt this year. Ooh. So, uh, ever, all the injuries in New York, all the injuries in Indy, all the injuries in uh, for uh, Philly. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's a point because, like you said, this year was not that hard. Like, when, usually when we get to the the conference finals on either either side, we ain't talking sweep. Yeah. Even like we say, even with the rest of the conference, the reference conference keeps proving why it's the most competitive conference in the league is because that team didn't get swept last game. No, this one did. So you got the rest, you got the time, team. Everything, everything is literally on your side, and you better, better, better get the job done. You it's gotta, there's no if and above. You have to, bro. You got to complete this deal because what's gonna come for Luca is they already got him top two, top three. Jason Tatum, yep. top three, and so not a lot of conversation for top two. Jason Tatum, I believe he's talented enough, I believe he has enough help. And they're, yep. they're, they're you like, what excuse can you find other than they just couldn't do it? Because you got a starting five that's crazy. If you, because Christos Porzinga is about to come back. Then you're talking yep. about your bench with Al Horford, Peyton Pritchard, who's been solid off the bench, Cornette, who's been solid off the bench. Um, they got everything that's right there for them, bro. It's everything. everything. Like, it, when it comes down to it, Especially when we talk about if you want to be one of the elite players in this game, for either when it comes to Jalen or Tatum, because everybody knows on this channel how I feel about Jalen Jay, uh, Brown. I think he's just as just, just as talented as Tatum. Facts. One of y'all got to close the book. Facts. You got to close the chapter because uh, you, you the way y'all been doing it, y'all like on Fast and Furious Five. It's it's time to <laughs> end the series. <laughs> Because y'all, it, it, it's time, bro. Like it, you got to end the chapter. Like you don't, you keep having run on paragraphs or run on sentences because you're not closing the deal. Last year, I mean, last time he's in the finals, it was injuries. Y'all been pretty for the most part. The core players besides Chris Steph has been pretty healthy, right? And we ain't wishing for nobody else to be. We wishing for health for we both sides we want coming Healthy finals. finals, please. Yeah. Healthy please. finals. Two teams and have full full strength. Yep. And when it comes down to that on paper, y'all the clear in front victory, in my opinion. So get hey, the job done. I think it's just going to come down to them last five minutes of the game. Uh, do you trust Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown more than Luke and Kyrie? Not right now, in my opinion, at least for me. Not right now. So you're going to have to show up because then if you do win, you, that's why you need to win because you want the conversation on, damn, who deserved an MVP? Because both of y'all yep. played y'all tail off. That's the conversation yep. we want to talk about for sure. So get it done, yeah. man. Duo get duo. Both of them, one of them duos, one of the players in the duos is, could be possibly MVP. Both fight for the face of the league. Hey, the, the stars is aligning. Yeah. You just got to, hey, you just got to take it. 
So we're going to see if you can do it. And we're looking forward to see the hell of a battle because we all know it's going to be a motherfucking battle. Facts. But uh, you got anything else, Bobby? I ain't got nothing else. Appreciate y'all. Tune in. Hit the like button and subscribe before you go. Oh, um, bro. Y'all heard what he said. It's been another episode on NBA Sessions. This your boy, Bobby. And it's your boy, Steve-O. Check y'all in another video. Peace. This has been a presentation 